Hello everyone and welcome to Nate Teaches English. Today we're going to be talking about present continuous and the future continuous forms. Let's start off with the positive. So we have our first person singular, second person singular, third person singular. And then we have our first person plural, second person plural, and third person plural forms. Starting with the first person singular, I, we're going to conjugate this to say I am talking right now. Right now lets us know that we're talking in the present tense because we see the word now. Next we have you. So second person singular, you are talking right now. Third person singular, he, she, or it, either one of those can work. We're going to say is talking right now. Then notice that for all of our plural forms, we have the first person, second person, and third person plural forms. They're all gonna be the same as our second person singular. We're gonna be saying are. So we are talking right now. You all are talking right now. They are talking right now. For negative, we still have I am. Instead, this time we're gonna be saying I am not. So I'm not talking, or I am not talking, the contraction of that would be I'm. I'm not talking right now. You aren't talking right now. Aren't is the contraction for are not, together aren't. He, she, it isn't talking right now. Isn't is the contraction for is not, isn't. And then again, we have, we aren't talking right now. You all aren't talking right now. They aren't talking right now. Same thing to note that for second person singular and for first, second, and third person plural, we're gonna be using the aren't or are not. Now you might be saying, Nate, how do I know if it's present or future tense? You'll be able to understand based on the context of the sentence. So if I say, for example, I'm not talking right now, now is going to let me know that we're referring to the present. But if I were to say, I'm not talking tomorrow, that's an indicator that we're going to be referring to the future tense. So some common Clues to let us know that we're talking about the present could be words like now, today, or this year. Future tense clues might be something like tomorrow, next year, later, or Tuesday, Friday, any specific day that is in the future. Now, when using present continuous tense or future continuous tense, we're going to be using the verb and adding the ing to it at the end. So just for some general rules, when adding the ing to the end, most often you're going to have the verb and just simply add the ing to the end. So for example, speak, turns into speak, I am speaking, you are speaking, he is speaking. Same with eat. turns into eating. She is eating, we are eating. Next, you may have verbs that end with X, W, or Z. For these, you're simply going to add the ING as well. So to fix, fixing. He is fixing the roof. To sew, Say I had a hole in my shirt and my mother um, is sewing my shirt. To blitz. Okay, to blitz. This is a term, a verb that you would see in American football when a player on defense is blitzing the quarterback. Now, in English, for ing verbs, there are going to be some spelling exceptions. 
It's not always, we just add ing to the end of the, the verb and the word is correct. So when we have verbs that end with a consonant and the letter E, for example, to write, the letter T is a consonant. A consonant is any letter that is not a vowel. So vowels are A, E, I, O, U. So any other letter would be considered a consonant. So to write has a consonant and ends with E. Turns into writing. So basically we drop the E and we add the ING. To dance, C is a consonant because it is not a vowel, plus E. Turns into dancing. Next, we have verbs ending in IE. So words like to lie. We're gonna change the E and the I to be a Y, a Y-I-N-G. An example of this would be the dog is lying on the floor. To tie, we are gonna drop the I-E, change it to a Y, and add the I-N-G. Tie, so she is tying her shoelace. The next example we have are verbs with one syllable, and they are gonna follow a format of consonant, vowel, consonant. These are CDC words plus ING. So words like to run, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to double the last consonant. Running. She is running. To sit, the same thing, what I'm going to do is double the last consonant. sitting. We are sitting in our chair. Then we have verbs ending with consonant, vowel, and L if they are stressed. So let me give you an example. If this word here is stressed at the end, we're going to double the consonant. If it is not, we're going to leave the L as a single letter. So in the word travel, in American English, travel, the stress is on travel, the first part, trap, trap, trap. So for this example, we keep the L by itself. In the next example, this is going to be stressed, meaning that the second part of the of the word is going to be stressed to control to control notice how control it's stressed at the end for this word when it's stressed at the end we are going to be doubling the final l so let's do some practice together right now. Take a moment to pause the video if you want to do these exercises, and then we'll review together. First one we're gonna look at is the sentence, we lunch right now. Our verb is eat. So for the present or future continuous, using the verb eat, we would say we are eating lunch right now. The next example, she, English online today. Study is our verb, so I'll say she is studying English online today. Third example, they cha-cha tomorrow. And the verb is dance. They are dancing cha-cha tomorrow. Number four, I 
English now. Speak. I am speaking English now. And our last example, you, the house next Friday, our verb is clean. You are cleaning the house next Friday. Thanks for watching everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.